Hello Internet, today I want to make a video on how to install Wazoo on Proxmox and actually I found out it's very, very straightforward. I just realized that Wazoo do have a VM hard drive you can download. So we're just going to go ahead and go on the Wazoo website. So there, if you click on install Wazoo and you scroll down, you should have installation guide and then you should go through well, if you click down to installation alternative, you should have all the other ways to install it. And you have an official virtual machine over a disk, which is air. So as you can see, uh, this is using, using sorry, Linux, uh, Amazon Linux. And you require to have four core, eight gig of RAM and 50 uh, gig of hard drive. So we're just gonna go and click this URL here. So copy link. And we're gonna download this image on Proxmox. So let me go on Proxmox very quick. Uh, clear is to remove everything on the screen, unless you don't know. I suppose you do. I'm just gonna give you some comment in the meantime. So if we navigate to which I think is cd slash um, var slash lib, and then I forgot. So I think it's ls to display everything there. And the folder is, yeah, so it's VZ. So now I'm going to have to click, oh, sorry, to tip CD VZ and LS again. And yeah, so that's the folder I want to download with uh, disk. So I'm going to make a new folder because I already did Wazoo earlier. So make dry, make dear, sorry, and WZ and then CD WZ to go on this new folder. And now I'll be able to download it, download it sorry, uh, by typing wget and then the URL address that we copied earlier. So just pass the URL address here and then you go ahead and click enter. So actually I have a very fast connection here, which is uh, 8 GB by second, but this can be quite slow because it's uh, like 4 GB or a bit less, but uh, very heavy file anyway. So we're going to denote this file is actually quite fast for me. As you can see where I'm nearly finished. So now we have to unzip everything. So we're going to do tar, if and xvf and then the name of the file. And that take a few sec as well because it's 25 gig, I think. There we go. So you see the file as the main file we care about is a mv, m, sorry vmdk which is uh, actually disk image we want so basically now we just need to create a vm to to put this uh, disk inside so just double check we have everything here so that's the disk we want to put to the new vm but first we need to create that vm because we didn't do yet so put the id you want whatever and the name i'm just gonna call it wazoo obviously um actually no it's rename it for me so let me change that to wazoo there we go so there is fine you can go to next air do not use any media then next and this we're going to change it to q35 and then we can click next we can get ahead and remove this disk um and for the cpu i think the requirement was for uh yeah so let's put four there and double checking here but yeah four so you need at least four core to use wazoo then you can go ahead and click next and the good thing as well is to change to host so it's basically use the same cpu uh, as your host system as your proxmox server in my case is amd epic so next and then is 8 gig so is uh, 8 uh, 192 sorry and for network obviously that might be different for you for me i'm just gonna leave it here with a different network uh, i don't need any vlan in this specific case but i'm gonna click finish and then we good so we're not going to start it just yet because we just need to attach this disk over here. So if you go, you first going to need to actually 
export this. So you can basically click the up arrow if you want to see the old command you used before. So you can see there we have QM import 500 wazoo and basically the name of the file. And then local ZFS, but that's gonna be probably different for you because I'm using the local ZFS. As you can see, uh, we have the 501 VM here, so that's 501, and format row. So local ZFS is, should be probably different for you. You will see your storage there. Um, so in my case is this, and then I can go ahead and enter. That's gonna take quite some time because uh, it's a 25 gig disk that we copying to the VM. Uh, there we go. So you can see it start doing its thing. And it's probably gonna take a few minutes, I suppose, depending on your hard drive and everything like this. I'm probably gonna fast forward a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be different on every system and it's depend of you you storage you have there. There we go, so we are around 74% and just a little reminder, if you like this kind of video, please do give me a thumbs up and please do a comment i very appreciate every comment you leave so thank you very much for that uh, i very want to do more video on security and more tech stuff i recently did on very basic on unify but uh, i very want to do one on test scale as well which i love test scale i use for everything it's brilliant so coming back to our discs now we nearly finish 98 and we should be done. So you can see where it's successfully imported this local ZFS or VM 501 disk zero. So that's good. And now we just need to import this to, uh, we just actually need to add this to the VM. So if you go to the VM and hardware, you just don't double click on this and add. And also you're gonna have to go to option and boot order. So first we can get rid of the CD player because we don't need it, obviously. And net as well, and we're gonna activate the hard drive we just imported. Okay, and now we're good to go. So we can go on the console and start the VM. And we should have the disk and it should actually start Wazoo from the image. Yeah, so you can see the logo of Wazoo now. So good sign that everything is working as is supposed to and then the boot should be quite straightforward and fast is based on Amazon Linux so you don't really have to do anything anyway past this so as you can see the logging air is quite insecure I guess I can say that so it's Wazoo if an user and the password is Wazoo so we're gonna just connect with Wazoo if an user and then the password which is wazoo and then we're good to go so you just have to connect on the ep so you tip ipa and then you're gonna see it 10.9.8.80 for me uh, so if i go there https and then it's 10.9.8.80 and then we should be good and have the Wazoo access and web page. So let me double check the IP here. Yeah. So that is today normal. So we're gonna accept this warning. And now we have Wazoo login. So the password is admin. Actually, sorry, the username and the password is admin. And you can see now everything is loading. Um, we should be okay. Let's check that. Yeah, so everything is cool. You can see everything there. Uh, I might do a deep review of Wazoo because it's a very beautiful and free resource for Home Lab. So I might do a video on this in the future, but please do subscribe and give me a like if that's any good for you. And see you on the next one. Bye bye, everyone.